friends, I'm Miss Lorianne. Welcome to Dare to Dream. Each week, we will highlight a contributor to life as we know it, either famous or not so famous. And we're going to get you thinking, creating, and problem solving. This is all part of Nina Library's Taking Create series, which you can pick up here in the youth department. This week, we are learning about Wilhelmina Stevens Fleming, astronomer. She was the first person to help discover what a spectroscope is, which means how do we see light with our regular eyes? So let's get ready to investigate. This project is based on the book, She Caught the Light, Wilhelmina Stevens Fleming, astronomer. Wilhelmina grew up in Dundee, Scotland with a father who was a photographer and carved picture frames from wood. The magic of the pictures emerging, melting out of the darkness into the stars at night was Wilhelmina's favorite. When Mina was 14 years old, she began teaching at a school. And a couple of years later, she married and moved from Scotland to Boston, Massachusetts. She found a job as a maid with a family of a Harvard director. They lived in a home connected to an observatory. An observatory is a dome building that has a large telescope that looks at the stars in space. Mina asked so many questions about the observatory and wanted to learn more about how the telescope worked. One day, she overheard the director speaking to the assistant that the spectra or rainbow of colors in the starlight couldn't be found. The spectroscope was not collecting data as it should. Mina learned many things from the professor while working at his home. She gained his trust and he saw her dedication to learning. So soon she helped him solve the problem with the spectroscope. She learned the light of the stars passed through the prism of the telescope. Then it blossomed into a rainbow of colors, creating visible light. Visible light is an electromagnetic wavelength. Each color has a different wavelength to reach our eyes. We see the colors like a painter's palette all mixed together with our regular vision. The spectroscope focuses on bringing the colors out in which we see. All colors are a combination of red, green, and blue. Mina Letter later went on to discover the Milky Way. What an amazing discovery. Now, let's work just like Wilhelmina did and create our own spectroscope. Let's discover. The items that you'll need for this project are the sheet that's included in your packet, some scissors, some tape, and the DVD or CD that's in your packet as well. First, you'll notice that there are two templates. Those can make two different spectroscopes. Cut out the lines on the solid lines. Make sure not to cut on the dotted. That is where you're going to fold. I'm going a little faster here than I was in real time. So follow along with all the folding, fold up, and you're going to be making a simulation of a box. Next, you're gonna to wanna to cut out a triangle of your CD. Now that you have the piece of the CD, that is the exact size of the template that's going to be inside of your spectroscope. Uh, tape that down to the inside, right in that template. Make sure that it's shiny side up. Then you're going to start folding together. Oh, and make sure to cut the inside of the slit because that's where the sunlight's gonna come through so we can see our colors. And as you connect, and fold be sure to follow all the instructions that are here or on the sheet and if you did like I did and didn't cut on all the bold lines, be sure to cut on those little slits so we can fold up into a box. And that's okay if you did it like me afterwards. It's all part of the process. Now
Now we can start taping our sides together, A with A, B with B, right on top of each other, making sure that when they fold over, the outside is going to go over the other side, just like this, so we can make a box. If you have um, hands of a caregiver that can help you tape or extra hands for an adult, even for me, it was a little difficult to do it by myself. Sorry that I kept pulling it in, but as you can see, it all just tapes together. And it's okay if it takes you a little time. Again, it's part of the scientific process. And when you're finished, it should look like this. Now you're ready to look for colors. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that our slit is pointed to a window or a door, but not directly at the sun. And just slightly maneuver and look inside to the shiny side of your CD. And there you go. You can see the green and the blues, little bit of the purples that are coming through our window, even some red. And as always, dare to dream. Very good, very good, good job.